Good morning. Welcome to day five of the mini course of Body Zen. How do you reduce stress? It's very, very simple. The way to cope with stress better or to have less stress is just to breathe as slow as you can. The mechanism in our body is when we encounter stress, we are going to breathe high and fast because we're going into our fight or flight. Now, whenever you encounter stress, you can breathe as slow as you can, like really slow in and out. And the breathing techniques we're doing today are a little bit more intense, you could say. It's a pranayama exercise. But afterwards, you will notice that you breathe less. You're able to breathe less. So, um, Let's go to the exercises first of today. Okay, the exercises of today. Please come and stand up with bare feet if you can. And we start with standing properly for about a minute or so. So, same story. Two fists fit in between your feet. Make sure your feet are straight. Lock your knees, unlock them. Shoulders low, chin slightly inwards and just stand. And slow down your breathing, the extra assignment of today. Slow down your breathing as much as you can. Slowly open your eyes, kick out your legs, and again stand in the same position. And now we're going to shake. So you shake it out, close your eyes, and shake out like nobody is watching. Slowly come to standing still. You can count your legs again. And we're going to exercise number three. Standing properly again. And then twist. Two minutes is about 50 times on each side. I will count for now so you can just follow. And make sure you have your eyes open and you look backwards as much as you can. Now increase your twist a little bit, if that feels good. And a little bit more if you can. Last ten.
and slowly come back to standing still. Kick out your legs once more. And just for one breath, feel what these three exercises did to your body. And then prepare yourself for the next series of exercises, which are called the five Tibetan rites. And if you need more explanation, I will post in the description, description of this video, I will post a link to another video where I explain the five Tibetans in more detail. For now, just follow, please. Okay, stand up. Put your arms aside. We're going to do each exercise five times. Look at your right hand and start making turns as fast as you can. So one, two, three, four, five. You may feel a little bit dizzy, that is normal. Breathe in and out slowly. And then the second exercise is a abdominal exercise. So make a Triangle from your hands, put it under your bottom, so your lower belly is on the ground. Chin on the chest, legs up while you're breathing, toes towards you. Breathe out, legs on the ground. Breathe in, breathe out. Keep your chin on the chest. Number three. Number four and number five. Come up in the same way. Exercise number three. Put your hands on your bottom, squeeze your butt while you're breathing, and you pull your elbows backwards so you open your heart. Breathe out, chin on the chest. Breathe in, squeeze the butt, and then backwards, breathe out, chin on the chest. And relax. Last one. Exercise number four. Sit like this, straight. Put your hands next to your butt. Not there and not there, but here. And then while you breathe in, you come up to the tabletop, squeeze your butt, look backwards if you like, or upwards if your neck is not completely healthy. And then when you sit down, you sit down in between your hands. Remove your hands from the floor so to relax your shoulders. Yeah, five times, here we go. In, squeeze, look backwards, out. General adjust, hands off the floor. In, squeeze, out. Hands off the floor. Number three. Number four. Number five. That's it. Now exercise number five is the up downward dog. Like this. You can either have your knees on the ground. Make sure your shoulders are low. This is not low. This is low. If this is easy, you can have your knees off the ground. Breathe in while you look up, breathe out, look at your feet, push your heels to the ground and your butt to the ceiling. Again, breathe in, shoulder flow, breathe out, push it away. Number three. Number four. Number five. Then you can come to your knees, the so called child's pose. Put your forehead on the ground and rest. Then the breathing technique of today. It's a pranayama exercise. We are forcing our breath out through the nose while we snap our belly in. So it's an abdominal exercise at the same time. So please make sure you're ready. 
and then we will start right about now like this Another 10. Breathe out fully. Breathe in slowly. And then let's go to exercise number two, which is the same. The only difference is that you put your arms up and every time you breathe out, you squeeze your arms in. This is, by the way, Tony Robbins' favorite morning exercise, so you know. All right. Ready? Here we go. Arms in the fork, same story. Breathe out, force it out through the nose while you snap your belly in. The breathing in goes automatically. Here we go. Another 10. Breathe out slowly. Breathe in as slow as you can. That's it. Maybe um, you notice that you have a little bit more energy because these are exercises, these are breathing exercises that give you more energy. Now, the assignments of today. Right, the same assignments of the last days hold, which is clean shopping. No sugar products, no soda, and no crisps. Very simple. Then, wherever you can, stand properly. Um, drink baking soda every morning and evening. Breathe through the nose, in and out, during the day as much as possible. And then the assignment of the day is also to slow down your breathing as much as you can. Because that is the remedy against stress. And then less stress is more happiness. So the key to happiness, as simple as it is, is to breathe as slow as you can. All right, these were the five days. Uh, I hope you, uh, you gained something from it. Tomorrow I'm gonna send you a last email where uh, I'm going to ask you to, to
to fill in the, the, the questionnaire that uh, you've you filled in in the beginning and how you can proceed without me after this. Okay, thank you very much for your time. I hope these five days has helped you and I speak to you tomorrow, uh, hopefully not for the last time, but for the last time in this mini course. Thank you very much.